Hello everyone, in this video I am going to run another quick rap performance test on the Fujifilm X-T30 coupled with the Fuji non 35mm f2. If you remember, I have done a video about this in the past, but many of you left comments uh, suggesting that I use a, a lower aperture and uh, to use the F-Log, and this is exactly what I did. So in this video, we are going to use that lens and we are also going to include F-Log in the footage and um, I will show you basically the difference between F-Log and, you know, have it color corrected. And uh, the thing with F-Log is that the standard dynamic range is set automatically to 400, so we can change that. And uh, the ISO starts at 640, which is the native ISO for this camera. In this video, just like the other one, I'm gonna show you three things. I'm gonna show you the raw footage, the F-Log footage, uh, straight out of the camera without any editing. Then I'm going to color correct it and apply a lot to it, basically. After this, we are going to zoom all the way in just to show you the amount of noise in every Video. Then I will compare some shots that were shot on the native 640 ISO and sometimes felt that it was a little bit too dark. This is why I had to bump the ISO up to uh, 1250. Well, after looking at the footage from 640 and 1250, I realized that the 1250 adds just a negligible amount of noise as you will see in the comparison when we zoom all the way in. And this is why I decided that the rest of the footage that we will see will be in 1250 if it is a bit too dark. And again, and I think it is quite clean and I like what I'm seeing. If you had seen the previous video, you would notice a significant change in quality. Uh, some of you have left a few comments asking why the other video was shot on aperture set to f8 and you know, it is not such an optimal setting for best low light performance. And uh, the reason I shot the previous video on f8 it was because for that video, I used the Sigma AFS 17 to 50 f2.8. If you had used that lens, you would know that it is only usable from f5 onwards anything below that and it is very blurry and it and it does not look decently sharp with the amount of noise that you would get you know from low light shooting and the chromatic aberration and all the noise that the lens creates the picture becomes very useless and very painful to to look at. However, since then I realized that for some reason the 30 to 35 millimeter range has always been my go-to angle in shooting videos or portraits and uh, I remember it was after shooting a low light portrait video that I realized that the Sigma was not doing the trick for me and I had to invest into a lens that would help me with shooting at night. So I saw the Sigma and got this Fujinon 35 f2 and um, it is the only lens I currently have and uh, the lens so far feels amazing if you compare this video to the previous one you will see the insane amount of sharpness even around the edges it is actually insane that it outperforms classics from Canon like the nifty 50 and you know the 85 millimeter I mean it is that sharp this is why I am very pleased with the slow performance this time and um, the previous time was decent but you could see the amount of noise present in the picture this time as you can see the it's become very clean and we have made like leaps in quality so thank you all for leaving the comments thank you all for your suggestions they have helped a lot making this video i hope you enjoyed if you do please leave a like and subscribe it will help with the channel with that if you have any other questions or ideas for future videos please leave a comment and we will see how it goes thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the video